caught in the crossfire. What is up, folks? Trippin' Ain't Easy back here again. We are at an old favorite here, Hot Pot 757. I know we've done a video here before, but we didn't really like the way that video came out. And coincidentally enough, this is actually a new location over here in Hilltop off First Colonial, 551st Colonial Road. The uh, manager here has graciously invited us to come out and do a video. So this is their grand opening. He wanted us to come out, do another video. He saw our first one. So they invited us to come on out and try it. And uh, we just decided to go ahead and say, yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna hop in here and check out and see if there's anything different with this location and the other location. So let's go on in. Alright, so those of you who have never been here before, now the food hasn't come out yet, here's the menu right here. Hot pot, nice and fresh menus, look at these here, nice and shiny. So it is all you can eat, you can do them separate, you don't have to do them both. So for the hot pot, which is going to be right here, it's going to be your liquid, that's going to be $28.99. For your barbecue, which is right here in the middle, where you're going to sizzle your meats at, $29.99. And then if you want to get both, you just add four more dollars on top and you can get both of these, which... I highly recommend because this is really good and this is amazing so kind of you know you switch it up a little bit here so let's actually take a look at the menu so here's some of the drinks you can get some smoothies you got all your regular drinks here you can get bubble tea some smoothies uh, so you start off here if you're gonna get the hot pot you're gonna start off here picking out your base so here's all your different ones uh, the wife usually gets the tomato and I usually get the beef butter that's pretty good. Szechuan spicy is also nice. I think, did you get the mushroom before? Uh, I think you got the Chinese herbal, but I don't think you were a big fan of that one. It was pretty good, but yeah. So here we have, so it'll tell you right here at the top, hot pot, hot pot. So let you know that this is the section for hot pot. Uh, so we have here a bunch of stuff, beef tongue, meatballs, lamb, all sorts of things. These are going to come like rolled and pretty much frozen for you to throw in. Mussels, fish, liver, all kinds of stuff here. Blue crab is seasonal. I'm um, not sure if they have these right now. can't remember what it is with the blue crabs. I know, what is it, oysters? If the month ends with an R. Uh, we got some quail eggs, some fish balls, dumplings. We did get some dumplings. And then you have your vegetables here, the bok choy. I love me some bok choy. I usually get a lot of that. We got some spinach and some sprouts as well. And then here's some other, some other vegetables here. If you want some tofu, they got plenty of tofu here for you to check out. And then here's your noodles. If you want pho noodles, rice, uh, all these, vermicelli, anything you want. I usually get the ramen. She got the ramen as well. And now we're going to move on to... The barbecue see there top of the barbecue so here's your barbecue selections these are made to go on here on the grill you can throw them in your hot pot if you want we do so not doesn't really matter uh, we usually get the bulgogi's here the bulgogi's are absolutely amazing oh we forgot to order the short rib but we can get that because it's all you can eat so yeah we usually get all of the uh, bulgogi's because the bulgogi is absolutely amazing that marinade is so good i tried to order it a couple times on amazon for some reason that order keeps getting canceled right before delivery i don't know what it is maybe they're stealing the package but yeah and definitely the short ribs as well the marinated short ribs those are amazing you also have this page as well you can get some seafood if you like calamari mussels shrimp vegetable combo that comes with all these right here and the portions are kind of big too so just be careful when you're ordering that the portions are kind of big what we ordered we will probably maybe just finish if not have a little bit left so that's going to be awesome but once the food gets here we'll go ahead and let you see it Ooh, nice it looks like uh curry did you get curry chicken okay i was gonna say yeah, the portions aren't as big as they normally are. It's normally like a mound like this, which is good. It's good. You can always order more, of course. You're not you're not stuck with just that little, you know, tiny amount. Grill is is hot, just so you know. 
And these they have a new style here. So the other style you had to control it over here. But these right here, you press it and then beep, beep, beep. It turns on for you. I think this is still uh, activated over here. I don't know if they want you touching it or not, but yeah. We'll normally turn it down some if it starts getting too bad. They will switch this out for you. If it starts to get too uh, too burnt, too crispy, they'll switch it out. But yeah, this place is uh, very big, very nice, fresh. So once the uh, rest of the stuff comes out. It's not smoky. Well, there's not a lot of people in here right now, but hopefully it doesn't get too smoky. Maybe they have a better ventilation system in this one. But the roof is also higher. What? Well, uh, looks like the rest of it's coming out already. As you can see, I literally, just so you guys know, I literally pressed the button to stop recording, and then they were already coming out with it. So that's how quick, that's how quick this stuff comes out. It was probably like a 20, 30 second gap in between me ordering and this kind of coming out. So look at all that. Look at all that spinach there and the bok choy. So here's all our hot pot stuff right here. There's your uh, grill stuff. There'll be a little cart coming out with our with the sauces and the soups coming out pretty soon. So when that comes out, oh wait, here it comes right now. See, see how quick that is. Here he comes right now with the soup, right there. All right. All right. How's it going? Beef butter right here. Thank you. Here we go. Boom, there you go. So this will sit up here, little induction cooker, and it will get to cooking. So there is my beef butter. It actually has, you know, butter in it. And some spices. How's everything so far? Y'all good? Yeah, looks good for right now. Okay, come, like on, come back and check on you guys. All right. And then here is the tomato. Some nice tomato soup there. All right, let's get this thing going so we can get to grilling. All right, let's see if... All right, they give me these little grabbers here so you can get things off the... Uh, I give a little click. You have to give them a click. Make sure they're clicking. Make sure they're working right. All right, so let's check out some of the meat here. So here we have our pork, our beef, our chicken, and then she got some curry chicken, and then we have our garlic shrimps. Let's see if the grill's hot enough yet. Seems to be. Let's get a little bit of ASMR on that. Sorry, I'm going to move the camera again. Let's play that soup. Alright, got the water boiling here. I don't know if you can see that or not on the camera. But we do have the uh, little water boiling in here. All right, oh, they did get the crab sticks. All right, let's drop some things in here. Got some shrimp dumplings, get some pork dumplings. Get a little bit of uh, pork loin, beef. All right, pop those in there. Get some mushrooms up in here. Bam. Oh, wait, got, got to get the bok choy. She's hogging all the bok choy over there. Being a bok choy bandit. Put some spinach in there. Let that cook for a while. We'll let this cook for a little bit. Go ahead and flip the scrimps. Look at that there. See, I like this place because, you know, you can kind of take your time. You're not necessarily rushed. You can just kind of do it at your own pace. You can be sociable at the same time, you know, have conversations with each other. Fun little time to, you know, if you want to come out with friends or something. She likes to throw the mushrooms on the grill and then finish them in the hot pot. Oh, we got some tofu on the grill now. So the, at the filming of this video, they do not yet have their liquor license. He is working on it. He's actually working on getting a full bar. I don't know if you can see that behind me or not. But there is going to be a big, huge full bar 
Uh, unlike some of the other locations, there's a small one at the one in Holland. I have not been to their Newport News location. Uh, the one in Greenbrier doesn't really have a bar. But this one has a full bar. It's going to be full liquor, everything. Uh, she normally gets her hot sake here, but they don't have a liquor license yet, so no hot sake for her. So she's powering through like a champion with her uh, with her fogged up glasses. Uh, they do give you a little bowl for your hot pot. I usually like to scoop a little bit of the sauce. Toss it in there first. Try a little bit of marinade to sit in. Go ahead and move the meats just in case she wants to throw some more on there. I'm gonna move the meats. Alright, swirl these noodles around. Alright, let's try some of this bulgogi chicken. There you go, look at that there. Is delicious. I don't know what it is with that bulgogi sauce. It is so good. First time we came here, we didn't know what we were doing. And the lady was just like, Yeah, bulgogi, you should try that. And it was like, Oh, done. This is ridiculous. She's trying, to, she's trying to steal all the all the meats. She's trying to take all the meat. Get a little shrimpy shrimp. Alright, let's get some noodles in my bowl. Grab one of the scrimpy shrimps. That's a garlic shrimp. They have two different types of shrimp. They got like the reg just the regular shrimp, but you throw in your hot pot and they have the garlic one that you can throw on here. Alright, let's grab ourselves a dumpling. Boy, oh boy, that bulgogi. Mm. I think this is a shrimp dumpling. This is more like a, uh, I don't know. You could probably roast me in the comments like a shuma, I think. I don't know. Kind of looks like a shuma, like you get a uh, sushi king. Let me try some of these noodles here. Look at that steam coming off of there. Man. And you can't forget short rib. Look at that thing. Marinated short rib. These things are so delicious. I think that was like, we got this and it was like, that was the best thing on the menu. So if you guys want to come check this place out, you want to know where to find them, all of their uh, links will be down in the description below as usual. And we will link the video to our first hot pot video as well if you want to check out the, uh, the Holland location but definitely come here it's uh, a lot newer I don't know if there's anything wrong with the Holland location but it's nice it's fresh it's new I think I'm gonna go up and actually get a sauce do you want a sauce I think I'm gonna go up and get a sauce to dip in because I haven't done that which what do you she made me one one time it was really good what do you what is it normally what you what'd you do All right, let's try a little bit here. Let's do it with the shrimp.
It's pretty good, actually. I like that sauce. Ooh, can you hear that? Can you hear that sizzle? Actually, this looks kind of like a good one. Only a little bit of fat right here on the edge. That is a good one. This one lays out pretty flat like this. Yeah, it's kind of perfect if you like if you're a vegetarian. Tons of vegetarian options here. If you're a vegan as well. I guess you would have to research maybe the sauce a little bit. Maybe like the mushroom might be good for you or the. But I, I believe it's a chicken broth base. So maybe they have something that's non chicken broth base. They will come refill it, but they refill it with the original, which is, like I said, chicken broth. Because this goes down and you need more. Short rip here, it is hot. But it is oh so tasty. First time we came in, that was like our favorite thing on the menu. We're just killing, just killing that. It's also a great place for parties. Um, I think they have a party room in here, just like the other locations. I know the uh, one on Holland. They have a great big party room. You probably see 20 tables, 20 people at the table. If you're having a celebration, that kind of thing, you know, hit them up, they'll be able to accommodate you. Ooh, all right, so we're going to finish up here. Uh, we will be back here in a minute to let you know uh, basically how much all this costs. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in right a few minutes. Well, actually, it'll be like a second for you guys. It'll be an undetermined amount of time for us. So you don't have to wait that long, but we do. But yeah. All right, we're here with the bill. Hot Pot 757 Virginia Beach. There's where to find them. 550 First Colonial Road in Virginia Beach. There's how much everything costs. The uh, two adults with the unsweet tea and the water, 79.42. All right, well, we put a hurting on all this. So we're gonna head on out of here. But you know, as always, Trip it ain't easy, but it show is fun.